on First News, we're going to be talking to Second District Congressman Tim Griffin. Uh, he hasn't spoken, he says, to a constituent who is in favor of military strikes against Syria. And I'm sure that will shape his vote. And he'll be with us here very shortly. Uh, we're expecting a call from him at 15 minutes after the hour. And our producer's on the phone right now, so I think he is with us. Joining us on the live line, Second District Congressman is Tim Griffin. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How y'all doing? We're doing well. Well, um, a lot of people worried now about the situation in, that the United States finds itself in. The president saying that um, a Syrian strike is something he wants authorized by Congress before he takes any kind of action. And some people saying we're tired of this sort of thing. We don't think this is a good idea. Where do you come down on this? Well, I have uh, been quite clear that I think that uh, this issue, uh, looking back over the last uh, uh, few months, uh, has been mishandled by the president. I think that uh, he waited a long time to engage on this issue and elevate the issue. When he did, he spoke off script from his uh, from his speech, and um, I don't mean that as a joke. I mean, literally, uh, apparently he made these comments about drawing a red line. And uh, once he did that, he sort of boxed himself in, and all indications are that uh, he was going to act uh, without Congress's approval militarily. Uh, he got significant um, political blowback on that, so he then decided uh, to go to Congress. He's made it clear he, he doesn't believe he needs to come to Congress, uh, but, but he's doing that. I think he's doing it for political cover so that uh, once, if, if Congress were to give him authority, he would be able to say, uh, I'm doing this b because the Congress has, has authorized it. I do, I do not believe and have not seen um, a, a vision uh, uh, where, for where he wants to go, what he thinks uh, a few missiles uh, shot over the bow, as he has described it, into Syria um, would do. Uh, I'm not convinced he has a plan uh, going forward on this. and. Um, so right now, I am a strong uh, lean no. Uh, I am not going to make a final decision until I have my uh, classified briefing on, um, on Monday. Uh, but I, I just have not seen from him uh, why this is in our national interest and what will change with a few missiles uh, thrown into, shot into uh, the desert. Also, I would point out, Bob, that there are bad actors on both sides of this equation over there. Uh, not only the Assad regime, but uh, the opposition. And um, it, is, it is not abundantly clear um, who we would be hurting and who we would be helping. Uh, so there, there is, uh, I, as I think uh, Secretary Kerry's testimony uh, this week has, has shown, uh, I don't think the administration has a clear vision for what they plan to do, what they want to do, and how we achieve it. Uh, and uh, I, I think um, I think there's a pretty good possibility that this will fail in the House. And uh, so we, we will see. I, I will tell you uh, that 99% um, of my constituents uh, oppose military action, uh, the ones I've heard from. Obviously, that's that's what I have to go on. Uh, but uh, judging from emails and, and uh, phone calls and all this other stuff, uh, it, it's one of the few issues that unites the liberals and the conservatives and everybody in between. Uh, Congressman, you said you were going to reserve final judgment until you see the secret briefing. If the secret briefing or the secret... Uh, uh, materials show that chemical weapons were indeed used. Would you then support a strike? No, I believe that chemical weapons probably were used uh, based on what I have seen. Well, then what would change your vote? Well, I think that, uh, it, look, it's an uphill battle uh, for the president to change my vote, but I, but I believe at the end of the day, the test is not whether human rights abuses occurred, as tragic that, uh, as that is. As you know, 
all around the globe, North Korea, for example, and other places, there are human rights abuses where we do not intervene. We should intervene when it is in our national interest to do so, where we have a clear plan for what is to be achieved and how we are going to achieve it. The truth is, uh, to really change the course of what's going on in Syria, uh, a military would have to do things that no one in this country is interested in doing uh, at this point. And I'm not advocating for, for something uh, like that. But uh, lobbing a few uh, missiles, Tomahawk missiles, off a destroyer, uh, I don't, in my view, that's not going to change anything. Uh, and if it, and if it, and it could, it could potentially uh help the wrong folks uh -huh. so um you know i it uh, it's gonna uh, the president has a has a tall order in convincing me to change his, uh my mind but but i am gonna uh to wait till monday all right congressman thank you very much for joining us and giving us your opinion about this we appreciate it thank you my friend i hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and go hogs all right thank you very much sir and the same for you. And Hendricks College for the first time ever playing football. So uh, good luck to the Warriors. Hendricks, of course, the congressman's alma mater.